we have next uh, presenter uh, Jay Abriani, author is here. Uh, her paper on smart assignment technique with consideration of multi criteria reciprocal judgments. Good morning, everyone. My name is Zainab Bahrami Viduni. I'm from Clark Atlanta University in Georgia. My study is about uh, assignment um, approach based on multi criteria re reciprocal judgment. Um, these are uh, our uh, studies scopes in multi criteria decision analysis literature. Um, and uh, in assignment problem, we focus on the standard assignment problem, which is a particular uh, form of uh, the transportation problem and could be formed in uh, linear integer programming uh, like this. Uh, all the methods uh, that have already been uh, employed in multi-criteria decision-making systems follow uh, unilateral uh, procedure. Uh, in other words, they assume uh, only one rule for each, um, both sides of a decision. Um, um, it means uh, the decision-making side is called decision-maker and the other side is only assumed as uh, alternative which only were uh, judged, which only were judged. However, in practice, uh, judgment or decision-making is usually reciprocal and uh, the decision-making should uh, have enough quali uh, qualifications to choose an al alternative. Besides, the decision-maker may be evaluated by alternatives. For instance, uh, job-seeking um, uh, husband and wife-seeking, uh, selecting um, part trade partner, uh, in all of these uh, examples, both of uh, decision side are uh, um, judged about each other. Uh, moreover, in this framework, we have a certain environment and um, uh, qu uh, quantitative uh, variables. We define three roles uh, for elements of system. The uh, elements that um, is being judged has the role of an alternative. An arbiter, uh, it means that um, it has some criteria for uh, measurement and can assess uh, the other, uh, the, um, can assess and order the opposite alternatives. And the element which directly utilize uh, uh, the assessment and judgment to the final solution has the role of a decision maker. Therefore, uh, the element that has uh, the role of decision maker has a definitely role of uh, arbiter or judger. Um, but uh, the arbiter may be um, not have a role of decision maker. Um, since the model uh, is reciprocal, we consider the system as uh, consisting of two distinct uh, type of elements which at the same time could take uh, both of the alternative and arbitrary roles toward each other. This is um, uh, for arbitrary rule uh, of, uh, of the X type elements. Y uh, type elements would be have the role of alternative uh, and uh, vice versa. Uh, depending on who the responsible for decision maker rules, these, uh, there are three different status uh, for this framework. Uh, in a status A, um, when only one side has um, the decision maker rule. For example, if the X type elements are execute com company and uh, Y type uh, elements are project. Uh, mm, 
the companies select or sort project based on uh, their preference and also each project has requirement that company who when doing that should be uh, have some uh, qualifications in this case uh, projects have not uh, any decision maker uh, rules but uh, they are arbiter or judger about companies status a has uh, two sub uh, mm, status when each of uh, elements uh, type uh, is our individual de decision maker or uh, when uh, each one are a group of decision maker um, a status B, uh, in status B, uh, both uh, sides uh, have decision maker rules. Uh, for instance, uh, as I said, uh, selecting a trade partner, husband and wife seeking, uh, these are examples of this status. Uh, I will present uh, my pr uh, proposed solution for this problem in a uh, poster section. Mm, the status uh, that uh, is our scope in this paper is status C. When the third element has the role of a decision maker, which is the one responsible for doing the as um, assignment test, uh, because of the reciprocity of um, alternative rule in this model, the set of alternatives uh, to be considered in this problem is a, a two-dimensional set, which can be viewed uh, as the set of uh, virtual uh, alternatives that are ordered pairs, uh, and uh, each of their component uh, is related to each side of uh, ass assignment. Um, this is the uh, a new proposed approach for ranking that we have used in our method. In this method, um, we have five steps. Uh, in step one, we choose the criteria. Uh, the arbiter would be asked. Uh, asked to choose a subset of arbitrary criteria uh, based on which uh, he or she wishes to do for ranking. Uh, in step two, giving uh, weight to the chosen criteria. Uh, and um, in step three, identify the value function related to each criteria uh, by, uh, by the arbiter. Here uh, we define uh, three aspiration levels for the value uh, size and we ask the arbiter to identify the value size related to outcome of each uh, criterion based on these levels. Uh, for example, um, quite uh, this um, satisfaction uh, which has a zero amount uh, quite satisfaction which has uh, one amount and um, uh, quite uh, surprised that has a uh, two amount for value function. Uh, we would cons um, consequently have uh, n-dimensional space that each of its dimensions is the um, identifier of value function related to one of the end criterion of arbiter. Uh, in step five, calculating the closeness of uh, relational preference of alternatives to the ideal point and their ranking based on this index. This is a structure of our decision matrix and uh, we want to assess each of uh, these alternatives based on uh, two attributes. The first attribute, u power x, uh, is the amount of relative uh, utility of this assignment in terms of uh, x type uh, element preference. And uh, the second attribute, u power y, uh, is the amount of relative uh, utility of this assignment in terms of Y-type element preference. And this 
uh, equation uh, is uh, total uh, efficiency in reciprocal op optimality index, which uh, we defined. And um, we uh, propose uh, assignment approach in uh, four phases. Uh, first, um, we, ut um, we utilize the ranking procedure for every single element of X and Y type in arbiter uh, position. Second, constructing decision matrix, uh, as I said before. Uh, and the second one, computing efficiency index for each uh, possible assignment. And um, um, this equation, as I said, is uh, total efficiency in reciprocal optimality. Finally, we formulate a problem in a nonlinear programming uh, uh, by this efficiency index. Uh, since uh, e all EIJ is, um, are between uh, 0 and 2 a month, and um, the SIG uh, uh, are zero or one, we um, uh, could uh, conclude that uh, function phi is uh, greater than uh, zero. So um, by calculating uh, logarithm from the target function, we uh, could convert the above um, nonlinear pro problem to the linear program. Here uh, we provide a real experiment about the assignment of uh, job positions to individuals in order to demonstrate the applicability of the suggested approach in which um, a corporation manager as a decision maker um, uh, want to assign uh, two jobs, a store manager and um, um, uh, finance manager, to three people. Uh, so that by considering the utility and uh, um, employees' interest and also the required competencies of each job, decide uh, on the best uh, assignment in a way uh, that the utility of both sides uh, is being satisfied uh, as far as possible. Uh, these are the criteria that we do this. Um, and this is the decision matrix with all values we obtain, and uh, S star is uh, the optimal uh, solution. Uh, that is, uh, it shows uh, S11 and S22 are uh, one. That means uh, assigning individual Y1 to position a store manager and Y2 to position uh, finance manager, uh, where appropriate uh, decision um, regard to judgment of two front of assignment. In practice, uh, after assigning new managers, um, uh, um, uh, after uh, six months, we uh, um, uh, survive a satisfaction with uh, question forms and uh, demonstrate the result demonstrate the satisfaction uh, in these two departments uh, increased over 75% than before uh, on both uh, uh, upper manager and employee levels. In this study, um, we proposing a novel viewpoint on uh, with proposing in a novel viewpoint on the basis of existing reciprocal system of judgment between the alternatives of the both sides of assignment, uh, the objective um, would be to, to maximize the assignment efficiency in obtaining the two-dimensional uh, optimality. And uh, for this purpose, 
um, a compound index uh, was defined for uh, measuring the function of each possible assignment in problem formulation. Then um, a mathematical programming model was proposed for problem solution and for determining the assignment uh, with maximum efficiency. Uh, it was transformed to a classical uh, linear programming model. And uh, as a future work, we went to improving um, approach and solving problem on uncertain and uh, fuzzy environment. Um, thank you so much for your attention. Any questions? Or So when you compute the rankings, how do you know what the ideal point is? What the ideal point you mentioned? Is it called the ideal point or ideal solution? Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I can show you. In ranking approach, in ranking uh, ideal point is uh, a point that has a value 2 for all criteria. First of all, uh, uh, the arbiter can select all criteria that he or she wants to uh, judge other side. And uh, then uh, arbiter give us the value of uh, each element uh, about each criteria uh, in uh, three levels of aspiration. And um, after uh, we uh, obtain this value, um, by this formulation, we find the uh, this distance uh, of each element to uh, either all points. Thank you. Thank you, sir.